morning students in the last class we learnt how to find the inverse of the given matrix and some theorems today let us learn elementary transformations elementary transformations of a matrix of a matrix elementary transformations of a matrix elementary transformations of a matrix elementary transformations of a matrix means a matrix can be transformed to another matrix by some operations called elementary row operations and elementary column operations okay this elementary row operations and elementary column operations so called elementary transformations of a matrix now let us learn elementary row and column operations okay, there are three elementary row and column operations are there the first one is interchanging of any two rows or columns we can interchange any two rows and any two columns okay, that is denoted by ri interchanging to rj that means any two rows can be interchanged here ri means that is i throw or j means that is j throw the second one is the multiplication of each element of any row by a non zero constant lambda is denoted by r i to lambda into r i here lambda is a non zero constant and r i is the i throw so third one is addition to any row with a non zero constant lambda multiple of the another row is denoted by r i to r i plus lambda into r j here r i is the i throw and lambda is a non zero constant constant and r j is the j throw so these are the three elementary row and column operations okay here we can use the column operations also but for that we are using the notation as ci and cj okay now let us learn row echelon form row echelon form is using this row elementary operations we can transform a given non zero matrix to a simplified form is called a row echelon form okay here there are three conditions are there the first condition is the first row the first element should be non zero the second condition is triangle form should be zero that means the second row first element and third row the first two elements should be zero okay the third condition is number of zeros in the last row should be greater than the number of zeros in the previous row okay here see one example 1234001200034 here the first row first element is not zero so the first condition is satisfied the second row first element is zero third row first two elements are zero therefore the triangle form should be zero but here the number of zeros in the second row and the number of zeros in the third row is equal so it is not a row echelon form why it is not a row echelon form means here okay, the number of zeros in the second row and the third row is equal but our third condition is the number of zeros in the last row should be greater than the number of zeros in the previous row so this example it is not an a row echelon form then we want to reduce this matrix into row echelon form means again using the row elementary operation then we can reduce the matrix to a row echelon form okay for that we want to change the third row third element as zero then we will get the row echelon form of the matrix okay so these are the three conditions for the row echelon form so now let us solve some problems using this row echelon form first problem reduce the matrix 3 minus 1 2 Minus six two four minus three one two into a row echelon form. So we are going to reduce this given matrix to a 
रो एकल एंड फॉर्म सो फर्स्ट स्टेप फर्स्ट वी आर कंसिडरिंग द गिवन मैट्रिक्स ए सो ए इज ईक्वल टू थ्री माइनस वन टू माइनस सिक्स टू फोर माइनस थ्री वन टू सो क्या यू आर गोइंग टू रिड्यूस दिस मैट्रिक्स इन डूर रो एकल एंड फॉर्म सो अवर फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज द फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट एलमेंट शुड बी नॉट जीरो नौ सी क्या the first row first element is non zero so keep the first row as it is okay then the second condition is the triangle form should be zero that means the second row first element should be zero and third row first two element should be zero so here we are going to change the second row first element as zero so here we are going to use this operation r2 is r2 plus 2 r1 we are using this operation means we will get 0 0 8 how we will get this is first you have to write the r2 elements that is minus 6 2 4 then 2 into r1 so 2 into r1 means multiply each and every element of r1 by 2 so you'll get 6 minus 2 4 then add this to you will get 0 0 8 so the second row becomes 0 0 8 so here the second row first element is 0 then our aim is the third row first element should be 0 we are going to change the third row first two element should be 0 so we are going to use this operation R three is R three plus R one. So using this operation means we will get zero zero four. So we will get this matrix as three minus one two zero zero eight zero zero eight. Here we are using this notation equivalent notation. Why we are using this means this matrix is not equal to this after we are using this operations, but this is equivalent to this. That's why we are using this equivalent notation. Okay, then after that, here the number of zeros in the second row and the number of zeros in the third row is equal. But our third condition is the number of zeros in the last row should be greater than the number of zeros in the previous row. So again, we are using the elementary row operation R three is two R three minus R two. Then we will get the third row as zero zero zero. Now, the number of zeros in the third row is greater than the number of zeros in the previous row. So here the three conditions are satisfied. Now this matrix is in the row echelon form. Okay, so this is a method to reduce the matrix into a row echelon form. Okay, the next problem is reduce the matrix zero three one six. Minus one zero two five four two zero zero in the row equivalent form. So first, let us consider the matrix as A equal to zero three one six minus one zero two five four two zero zero. So here the first condition is the first row first element. Should be not zero. So see here, the first row, first element is zero. So now I'm going to interchange the rows one and two. So we will get the first row, first element is not zero. So then the second row, the second condition is the triangle form should be zero. That means second row, second element, and third row, first two element should be zero. Okay, then. We are using the operations to change this element as zero. So here the second row, second first element is zero. So keep the row as it is. Then here R three, the first two elements we want to change to zero. So here first we are using this operation R three as R three plus four R one. Then we will get the R three as zero to eight twenty. Okay. So here the third row, second element is not zero. So again we are going to change the element. It means third row, second element is zero. For that we are using this operation. R three is three. R three minus two R two. Then we will get 
the third row as 0 0 22 48 and keep the two rows as it is now see the first row first element is not 0 the triangle form should be 0 and the number of zeros in the last row is greater than the number of zeros in the previous row so the three conditions are satisfied now this matrix is in the row equivalent form students hope you understand how to reduce the given matrix into a row equivalent form the next class we will learn how to find the rank of a given matrix thank you